I'm Laura Ray and today I want to talk about beauty products that I don't want to live without. If you're watching this video on Saturday, July 3rd, it's my birthday today. And anytime it's our birthday, I think we always reflect on our life. And I've been thinking a lot about my older self, my retired self. What am I going to do with my makeup collection? How am I going to feel? Are there going to be days when I don't want to wear any makeup or days when I just want to go full out with makeup? And I started looking at everything I own and thinking, what do I really want to continue using? So today I'm going to talk about all the products that I think I can't live without. Powder. I didn't use powder for years because I had such oily skin and all I thought was I'm just going to turn into paste face. But in the past few years, I've found ways to use powder that really helps me out. And of course, I love my Can Make powder and this Revlon Blurring Powder. Now, I really like this blurring powder for under the eyes. And there is a makeup artist, Nick Lujan, who gave one of the most amazing techniques I've ever seen for under the eye with concealer. And I'm showing that to you today. All he does is applies the concealer. Now, I'm applying the Neutrogena. I love this concealer. I think it's so underrated it's amazing I'm applying this and then what he does is takes the end of a makeup brush after you put on your concealer and just rolls up like a rolling pin and what that does it takes the surface level that would maybe get into your fine lines or creases away it is miraculous so I usually do it in three steps I go in the middle I go up this side and I go in the inner corner like this then I wipe off and apply powder. Now, what I like to do, I sort of made it my own because I don't think he did this in his video. I put on the powder and roll again, and that takes off the surface level of powder that might get into my fine lines. But using this technique has been a game changer. I just think it makes my under eye area look so much better. So I just wanted to share that with you. I will always need sunscreen. If I'm wearing nothing on my face at all, there's always sunscreen. And I've talked about the Biore. I think I'll always want more of a watery gel formula for my face. I don't like feeling greasy on the face. This doesn't leave me feeling greasy. I like things that sink right in quickly that you don't have to wait for them to dry. I love the way this feels on my body also on my arms. And so I will definitely always be wearing sunscreen. Moisturizer will always be a part of my routine. It wasn't for years, and now that I'm 57, I definitely will always need it to be part of my routine. I enjoy a very light moisturizer during the day that will sink in quickly where I can go ahead and apply makeup, or if I'm not even wearing makeup, just something that doesn't take forever to dry. I love the Aveeno. I've talked quite a bit about it recently. It's replaced Clinique, which I was using before. And then for evening, I love this Paula's Choice. This is great to bring up under the eyes too. I just put this on and a lot of times I will go without an eye cream at night and just wear this. But it's so rich. It's perfect if you have dry skin, but even if you're like me and you have normal skin and you just want a little more hydration at night, I think this product is amazing. I love products that are multi-purpose, so I will always want something like this in my collection. This is from B Naturals and it's their eye balm. I like using this not only around my eyes, mostly during the evening, but if I'm not going anywhere and I have no makeup on, I'll put this on just so my eyes are really hydrated. But I love this for lip lines. It's also amazing for your cuticles. I have one that I keep in my makeup case that I keep at work. And if my cuticles I notice are dry during the day, I'll just put some of this on. But this is just one of those multitaskers that I would take if I was traveling because it would fill in for so many gaps. But this is the type of product I'll always want. It's got olive oil in it. It's also got uh, organic beeswax, avocado oil. So there's a lot of different oils in this that are just perfect for various areas of your body. Azelaic acid will always be a part of my skincare routine. I've been using it for about a year and a half now. I think it's really done a lot for my skin. Anytime I have any kind of reaction on my skin, I put this on and it immediately calms it down. It's great for getting rid of pigmentation and as we age, we tend to have more of that popping out. So this has definitely become a part of my routine along with a vitamin A product. Kakai Naturals has worked for me. I've been on and off Retin-A for most of my life and Retin-A is just so harsh on my skin. My skin is very sensitive and it's a little too much. Even when I've tried mixing it with moisturizers and things, I'm just never happy with it. But this Kakai Naturals has filled that void and been the vitamin A product that 
just met my needs. I will always have an eye cream in my routine. I know there's a lot of debate whether they're even worth having, but I like this one from Burt's Bees. It's a fairly new product. It came out about six months ago. I think it does great in the under eye area. I've been very happy with it. Uh, I do use the Paula's Choice under the eye, but I still enjoy this and will keep it as part of my routine. Gua Sha. I've talked a lot about this. This is my favorite part of my Gua Sha tool collection. I like this one that looks like a fish because it just works the entire face. And I feel this really does help the skin, helps lift the skin. It's like a little at-home facelift. And I use jojoba oil with it. I find so many uses for jojoba oil. If my neck is tight, I'll sort of give myself a neck massage and use this oil. I put it on my feet, on my hands. So I have purchased so many bottles of this over the past few years. And I just keep it. It's almost like keeping cooking oil in your cupboard. This is just a staple in my routine that I use for many things. But I love using this when I use this tool if you're interested I have a whole video on how I do this uh, process but I love it and this will continue to be a part of my routine. I have used a gommage product for at least six or seven years. I can tell when my skin is just building up and needs exfoliated. I've used this Mother Made for at least two years now. I love this product because it doesn't irritate my sensitive skin. You just apply it and sort of roll the skin off. It's only taking the surface layer, but your skin looks so fresh when you're done. I enjoy using this on my hands and even this part of my arms, my forearms, that show a lot when you're wearing a shirt. So I do this maybe once a week, so the product lasts me a very long time, and I think it just gives a very fresh look to my skin, almost like I've had a facial. I am really enjoying this product. I'm going to need something like this the rest of my life. It's a crepe corrector. I have noticed in the past six months or so that my skin is a little thinner, a little crepier. I definitely know it's hormonal changes that we all go through, but I love that it seems to really tighten the skin. I like Gold Bond products. A lot that I've tried have been very effective and they're so affordable. So this is a crepe corrector I will continue to purchase. I can't use these lip scrubs on my lips. I just feel like it irritates them and I get little micro tears. So I've talked about this silicone exfoliator before. I will keep this forever. It has held up too. I've had this for quite a while and I don't notice anything different about it breaking down. I gave one to my daughter, to my mother, but she just go over the lips and I go above the lips, which really helps with lip lines. This is great because it just gets that surface level of skin that's laying above the lips or on the lips off. So I use this several times a week. It's so gentle and much more efficient than the lip scrubs that I've purchased in the past. I will always want to keep some type of product to even out my skin, whether it's a CC or a BB cream or a light foundation. I don't think I really will ever go back to a very heavy coverage foundation unless I need to because it just looks so heavy on my skin and I've gotten used to this light feel on my skin and I just love it. Now, one way I may use a heavier coverage, like this has a decent level of coverage, but because I've put it into this cushion compact, it just applies in a much thinner way than if I dabbed it on my face or put it on with a brush. So I've talked a lot about these compacts. I don't know if I'll ever go to a different way of applying. I do love when I applied the Merit with the brush that they had that did work really well with their product. But as far as me purchasing these kinds of products at the drugstore, I think I'll always put them into a cushion because when you apply this, it gets in such a thin amount. I can't even do that with my fingers. So I have found this is a great anti-aging way to apply my makeup where my skin just looks improved, but you can't really see that I have a bunch of makeup on my face. So this has really worked well for me. It's so inexpensive and a very efficient way where I can still continue as I age to wear foundation, but in a very youthful way. I did want to mention that I am also still loving this from Alme. It's their Skin Perfecting Healthy Biome Makeup. Long name for that. I'm in 120 Beige. This is a beautiful formula that's very light on the skin and so affordable. At a minimum, I will always want to have brows, mascara, lipstick, at least that and of course my sunscreen and those things. I'd love to hear in the comments what you wear on the most minimal day. 
I really love having my brows a little fuller than they are. I've always had fine brows even when I was younger. So I'm enjoying this brow session from Wet n Wild. I go through, I've talked about this before with a gel kind of product through the brow to thicken them up a little bit and then go in with a brow pencil. I like this one from Flower Beauty because it's got a super fine point. I can almost sculpt the brow, give myself a new brow without it looking fake. And then this little brush on the end is so fabulous for blending. I actually like it a lot better than a spoolie. And the fact that it has the brush right on the product, I love because that's one less tool to keep up with. It just makes it so super easy, but I'll always want my brows to be done. There are days I go without mascara. Sometimes I do just liner. And then other days I do just mascara when I want to not be so involved with my makeup. But I love the Sky High. It's the best I've found recently for giving me long lashes. I really like the length of this. It doesn't thicken my lashes a lot, but it's more about length for me. I like the length on the lashes because I just think it makes my eyes look more open and awake. And as far as my uh, heated curler. I don't use this every day, but I will always want a heated curler. This has been such a game changer for me. It's so fun. It keeps the lashes lifted. I love that. And so if I were going to lunch with a friend or going out and I just really wanted to look nice, I definitely will get out my heated curler. I love eyeshadow. I love playing with eyeshadow, but there are some days when I just want to do everything really fast and be done. So I will always keep some kind of cream eyeshadow in my collection. I love these from Revlon. They're so affordable, so easy to work with. Now, what I did today was I took one of my favorite shades, which is Creme Brulee, and I mixed it with this palette. You guys remember this one from L'Oreal. I repurchased this recently. I actually was very nostalgic. I get that way about makeup, and I missed it. I thought, why did I ever give that away? I actually gave it away at one point. So I bought it back and I blended this third shade in with the creme brulee and made my own eyeshadow. I am having so much fun making my own shadows. Taking a cream shadow, especially one that's inexpensive like this Revlon, and then mixing it with eyeshadow you already have can give you such a beautiful and luxe look. This glass palette has been a game changer for me. This is where I mix all of the products that I love so much together to make new looks. Now what I tried recently on this glass palette to make a beautiful cream blush was taking this Joa. Now this is an interesting product because this is their Crystal Glow Tinted Luminizer. You could use it as a foundation. I didn't really like it for that. It was just too much glimmer for me personally, but you could. You can use it as a primer under foundation, but what I used it for was to mix it and make cream blush. Now it's two-sided. It has a brush already on here for you, so you could mix and blend with this and then you have this cream stick. Now, like I said, it was meant as a primer and foundation, so it comes in a lot of shades, which is fantastic. Now, today I took this and mixed it with this Milani palette. This is gorgeous. This is called uh, Bronze Burst, but this has so many different colors in it that I've tried a lot of different things because it's got gold and then some almost like bronze tawny type of shades. But I just took a little of the powder, put it on the glass palette, mixed it with that Joa, and came up with my own cream blush. A new product that I have been trying from Neutrogena is their Healthy Skin Blends Bronzer. I will always want to have a bronzer. There are many days that I will not put on blush, but just bronze up my face. I just think it makes you look so healthy. I love the look that I get. Uh, makeup is such a personal thing for me. It's a time to be creative. It's a time for self-care. It's a time to just have fun. It's a time to forget about other things going on in life and just relax and enjoy myself. So I really love makeup for that reason, mainly the creativity of it. But also when I have to look at myself in the mirror, I go into the bathroom, I like looking back and looking at someone that looks healthy. And I always feel like makeup can just make a person looks so alive and vibrant. How do you feel about makeup? Does it make you feel that way? It That's what it does for me. But I just want a healthy look to my skin like I've gotten a little bit of sun. And this is such a natural bronzer that I'm really enjoying it. 
Of course, I love my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This brightener just, I love it for all over the face. Benefit had a pencil that was pink that I used before I got into using this. And I liked using that in various parts of my face, but that pencil is over $20. This usually runs on Amazon around $7.90 something or close to $8. So affordable and it lasts a very long time. I use this on my lids in place of primer. Several of you have asked me what eye primer I like. I don't like any of them, to be honest. I have found that most of them at my age dry my eyes out terribly. And I don't always hear people talk about that, but my eyelids have been oily all of my life and still like the Milani eye primer that I used to love just makes my eyelids turn to prunes. So I have gotten into this because there's moisturizers in it and that helps hold on to the makeup but not dry out my eyes. I love this for contouring the face, for highlighting the cheekbone. This is just a multi-purpose product. I'm praying that they never get rid of this because there's nothing like it at the drugstore. I never hardly use setting sprays, but I have really been into them lately and I have two that I use. I love the new Physicians Formula, their Essence. And then this one from e.l.f. is so affordable. It's around $7 for a large bottle of it and this doesn't have alcohol in it. My favorite way to apply it is to spray it on a fan brush. Then you can even go right under the eye if you have any little bit of powder left that you don't want to get into fine lines. It's just easy to spread. I just go over it with a feather touch and that seals the deal, keeps my makeup on and keeps it looking fresh. About once every two weeks, I shave my face. I started this, I don't know, two or three years ago, and what a difference it's made. The hair on my face does not grow in thicker. This gets rid of, I had a lot of little peach fuzz in this area of the face, some above the lip, and this just helps my makeup to lay better, for my skincare to sink in more quickly. I like these from Chic. I order these. They had a pack where you could order like nine of them, and I went ahead and just did a bulk order so that I have them all the time, but they work beautifully and they also exfoliate the face. If I do have a little flakiness, especially in the winter when my skin is a little more dry, I'll go over like my forehead and just flakes will come right off. So this exfoliates and also gets rid of the peach fuzz. As we age, I know myself, my lips have gotten a little smaller, a little less defined, so I will always want a lip pencil. I never hardly used to even use lip pencils, but in the last couple of years, I have really taken this to a new level with the lip pencils because I notice a difference. Even when I see my videos, I can tell, wow, my lips look a lot more defined when I use a lip pencil. So I love these from LA Girl. They're so inexpensive. Uh, this is one of my favorite shades, Enduring Mauve, and then Keep It Spicy is another one that I love. Now, as far as long-lasting uh, liquid lipsticks, I know a lot of them are drying, but I don't think, at least on my own lips, this one from Maybelline works really well. If the liquid lipsticks are too drying for you, maybe there's just too much product. You might want to apply it with a lip brush. Now, this actually isn't a lip brush. It's a flat definer brush, but I like it better than a lip brush because I can lay it right on the edge of my lip and pull down and just, it blends everything beautifully. I have fun mixing different lipstick shades together, so I use this brush all the time. Now, another thing that I love that's so underappreciated is this lipstick from Almay. This shade is called Girl Boss, but I love these lipsticks. They're creamy, they're beautiful, they're inexpensive, so if you haven't tried any from Almay, I always think of Almay as this just underappreciated brand. Their makeup's hypoallergenic, it's great for those of us with sensitive skin, and they do come out with some amazing products. Speaking of that, this Goddess uh, goddess Gloss just, I think, elevates any lip look to a new level. I have loved it so much. It's so affordable. Uh, some of them on Amazon are around $3. I can't even believe it. I bought about every shade they came out with, and I love them so much. Another one I love is Revlon. You hardly hear anybody talk about their glosses. This pink one is one of my favorite shades. I'll list it in the description. The description is in the Show More section. If you click that, all the products and links are there, and I appreciate you using those links. That's what supports my channel, so thank you so much for doing that. Another lipstick from Revlon that I love, this is their Sparkling Quartz. Now, what's amazing about this is you could go over any matte lipstick you have or any lipstick you feel doesn't have enough shine and it will just take it to the next level without being a gloss. So if you don't like how glosses feel on the lips, you like more of a lipstick feel, then this is a great alternative. 
I love lip balm. I've loved lip balm since I was a little kid and things don't change much, even when you are 57. So I started out from Buxom with this one. This is called the Big O and it changes with your own body chemistry. So I started with this. Some people didn't like it. They said they didn't like the shade, but I rolled the dice and I love it. I love the shade. On me, it turns out sort of a pink and I really enjoy it. Then I went for this one, Dolly Fever, and this is more of a mauve. I love this shade. And then I said, I might as well go for the next one. And this is Powerful Plump uh, Inner Glow. I was looking for more of a nude for summer. I do like nude shades to wear sometimes. And this does not disappoint. I think the look is absolutely stunning. The last beauty item I wanted to share with you today is an update on the Your Face Pillow. This is the one I ordered on Amazon. It is so affordable compared with some of the high-end pillows that are claiming to do the same thing. And what I've found is this is working great for me. I have never been able to sleep on my back. I still do sleep on my side. This allows you to go on your side. But these, it reminds me of a bowling alley here, of the bumpers that you have in the bowling alley. But it keeps me in the middle and not going out of the lane. And so what I've found when I wake up, my eyes are less puffy than they used to be. I feel like it is helping as far as... I'm not making marks on my face. I used to sometimes have marks from the way I slept and put my hands on my face and stuff. So it's really helped. I'm enjoying this pillow and I'll update you in a couple more months to see how I'm, if I'm still feeling the same way. But right now, I think this is fantastic. I would love to hear about any products you can't live without. Things, we know we can live without these things, but things we would really miss if we didn't have them. I appreciate you so much. And this week's giveaway is a Beauty Hacks lip mask. I didn't mention that today because I didn't talk about some of the other products I use. If you'd like to hear about my hair products and sleeping mask and those things that I use, that could be another video. Let me know in the comments. But the winner of last week's giveaway is posted beneath the video. I hope that you all have an amazing week. And for my birthday, what I would like is you to do something special for yourself. That would make me so happy. And tell me what you do. I don't know if it's going to be have a piece of cake or whatever it is, but I'd love to hear back from you. Have a beautiful week and I'll see you soon.